I'm Dr. Steven Perlman. I'm dual board certified in facial plastic surgery, and I'll be discussing revision rhinoplasty. Revision means we're taking someone who had prior surgery to the nose and we're improving the way they breathe or the way they look. We often do that by adding grafts to their own cartilage to restore function or improve function, also to make a nose look better, to get the results they initially wanted in the first place. Rhinoplasty in itself is a very complex operation. Revision is even harder. We have a much smaller amount of improvement we can get. So you want to go to someone who does this as the majority of the practice. This is something which you need to go to someone who does this frequently and often, really understands the anatomy inside and out. Being a teacher, an educator in facial plastic surgery and rhinoplasty makes me a much better surgeon. I think approximately half my rhinoplasty are revisions. So I do well over 250 noses a year, which means I'm doing well over 100 revision rhinoplasties per year on patients who've had surgery elsewhere that want to get a better result. The nose should be an addendum, it should, should accent, but when it stands out and looks overdone, scooped, pinched, or too big, it takes away, you don't see the patient's natural beauty. In worst case scenarios, there are even some people who have developed breathing problems after their rhinoplasties. So not only did they not get what they expected, but they also gained problems from having that original surgery. People have been through rhinoplasty surgery, they've paid a surgeon, they've had expectations, they've gone through the healing process, and they did not get what they expected. Revision rhinoplasty is a very emotional journey and it differs greatly from someone who's coming in for their first rhinoplasty. So the emotional aspect is you now have gone to someone who you trust who may or may not have a great reputation and didn't come out how you liked it. And again, the, the incidence of revision rhinoplasty ranges from five to 15%. And that's in the medical literature. And these are the doctors doing the most rhinoplasties. Being dual board certified, my background in ear, nose and throat, otolaryngology, helps me appreciate function of the nose. So we're here to make sure we're not compromising function in a primary surgery, and we can restore function in vision surgery. So we know what works, what patients really need to be able to breathe better. Well, to find a surgeon, you need to find out, number one, what is their reputation? Are they known for doing noses and revision noses? Sometimes you may have to go to their office because not all our patients want us to share their pictures, but we have a lot more in the office that patients say you can use it in your office to show patients. So it's not about, is this person have a great reputation on social media or the hot go-to guy that got interviewed by a TV show, because they may just be doing PR. You want to go to someone whose eye meets yours, whose aesthetics meet yours, and you know has the credentials that you feel comfortable with can help restore your nose.